Daniel steps up and Daniel goes down. Flying around the corner, there's your guy, Daryl Taylor. This season, Seahawks defensive end Daryl Taylor has been terrorizing quarterbacks. Gets hit, goes down. Ball's gonna go back over to the Seahawks. Daryl Taylor comes in from the right side of the offense, fights right through his man. Wentz never saw him. Ball is on the ground, stripped away. Cousins has to fall on it. And it was Daryl Taylor. As the league out, takes notice. Taylor just wishes someone very special could still watch him make plays. Just so she can be here and see all the things that I get to do and all the things that I've accomplished up until now. She is his mother, Peggy. He remembers like it was yesterday, freshman year in high school. His mom shared she had breast cancer. It later spread, taking his mother when Taylor was just 16 years old. Being that young without my mom, it hurt a lot. And it was hard for me to get over for a little while, you know, and it still is. I still cry sometimes this day, um, to this day, just thinking about it. A teenager whose friends became like family and sports in his hometown of Hopewell, Virginia, gave him hope. With his mother, who he had watched fight till the end, fueling his determination. I just learned that she was very resilient, you know, she did whatever she had to do to take care of us, me and my sister. And um, <clears throat> it definitely made me stronger. Did she give you lasting messages that still stay with you to this day? She played basketball. Her favorite sport was basketball. So she definitely always talked about a winning spirit and everything like that. A winning spirit and a memory of his mom. Goal rush by Daryl Taylor. Taylor would take with him to the University of Tennessee, where he led the team in sacks his senior year. The New York Jets have traded the 48th pick to the Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks traded up to select Taylor in the second round of the 2020 draft. Hey, congratulations, man. How about that? Thank you, thank you. Coach Carroll making the call. You came to get Jay boys. We got him. Here he is right here. Yeah. <laughs> Finally getting that call and being in that moment with my family was nothing like it. His family. Hey, buddy. That's now growing Buddy. as Taylor has become a father to a three-year-old boy. What do you think your mom would say if she was alive to see you today? Oh my gosh, <laughs> she'll be crying right now. She's a big crybaby, so she'll be, I think she'll be crying about everything that's going on, you know. I think she'll be most proud of how I conduct myself as a person and as a father, you know. A father who on Twitter has a rose and a message to his lost mother that because of her, he made it. Look at me now, I'm playing in the NFL with the Seahawks, so um, not doing too bad, you know, for a kid that lost his mom that young. What a story of resilience. Every October, the Seahawks, in partnership with Virginia Mason Franciscan Health, launch a month of cancer awareness activities to promote early detection through the NFL's Crucial Catch Intercept Cancer Initiative. You can learn more at Seahawks.com slash Crucial Catch.